What an awesome show Saxon put on at, at the Bergen Pack Art Center in Englewood, New Jersey. This is the Rock and Roll Weather Man. My name is Sean Morrison. And yes, they went on first at this show because um, the right heap closed because they're um, switching the closing spot every the other night on the tour one night. Saxon closes one night, your your buyer heat um closes, but what a set they did do at the Bergen Pack in um Englewood, New Jersey. Biff Biff had the fucking crowd going all fucking night. It was just fucking great. They did um sixteen songs in all. You know, in some other um cities they've been doing a few more songs, a few less. I'll get I'm gonna get all to that. I'm gonna concentrate on Obviously, the set they did tonight, opening up with the title track of their latest album, Hellfire and Damnation. And then we had some um, classic Saxon songs over the years, such as Motorcycle Man, This Town Rocks, Sacrifice, Power, and The Glory. And then also um, some more um, Saxon from the latest album. There's something in Roswell. Another fucking awesome song. You know, Hellfire and Damnation is like a great album. He had Heavy Metal Thunder. Let's not forget another one of Hellfire and Damnation. Madam fucking Guillotine. Love that song, Madam Guillotine. And you can't forget Dallas 1 p.m. is Strong Arm of the War. Crowds were just going. Bananas, let me tell you. And it was a almost standing room only crowd. Every seat was just about taken. And um we also had um another another song off of the Hellfire and Donation one thousand sixty six, which is a great fucking song. And then um then you had some um classic um Saxon songs to end. The show before the encore, which was Crusader, Denim, and Leather, and The Wheels of Steel. Great freaking tracks. And then um, for the encore, it was 747 Strangers in the Night, and they closed the um, set with um, Princess of the Night. Friends, if you're not subscribed to the show, Lawrence, and YouTube channel, please do so. Everyone else has to subscribe. We thank you much for the continued love, honor, and support. It's greatly appreciated. But what's been going on with Saxon, which I wanted to discuss, is you're not getting the same set list every night. A couple songs coming in, a couple songs um seems like not being performed on certain nights. But I'm, you know, one song I want to talk about is that the song they have, Ride Like the Wind. Yes, it's a remake of that Christopher Cross song, of course. Saxon does the better version. Last night in um Pennsylvania in Jim Thorpe PA they did perform it and then in um another area near Pittsburgh they performed it as well. So far the only two nights on the North American tour that they done that they done um right like the wind. Let me did myself want to hear it? Yes, Mr. Morrison definitely um wanted to hear Right Like the Wind, but you know what? What can you do? But getting four, uh, four new songs over Hellfire and Damnation, a great fucking album, like I said. I'm not freaking complaining, plus the classics as well. And before myself and Janaki did leave for the show, I was listening to the um, Unleash the Beast, Beast album, which I know they don't really play any songs off that album anymore. And the main reason is because I saw Saxon on that tour two nights in a row, and that was... 26 years ago, it took me 26 years to see Saxon again after seeing him for the first time ever in 1998. And I went back to back nights because they were playing local by me. It's just fucking crazy. And what else was there? I was going to talk about Uriah Heap in a second. I want to um, look something up on him while we're talking. You know, I got my monitor here ready. Um,. So, getting back to um, what I'm saying about Uriah Heap, I'm not a major fan of the band, but you know, they um, they're good for what they do. I'm never gonna knock them for that. 
and they also they did a um, fourteen song set, which um, actually thirteen thirteen songs. We were not counting the band introduction and solos with a jam session. Huh? That's quite okay, but you had um save me tonight, raised by heaven, rainbow demon, no complaints at all. This one called Stealing, Hurricane, Sweet Lorraine, Hail the Sunrise, Free and Easy, Gypsy, Look at Yourself. Like I said, it was banned introductions. Then you had July Morning, and for the Encore Sunrise, and the one song that everybody knows, the one song called Easy Living. And of course, um, they did um, they did it at least three songs off the um. The album Chaos and Color, which um came out last year, and you know it's cool that these bands are getting time to tour in the United States again and everything. Because when I saw Saxon and You're Right coming around, I wasn't sure if I wanted to go or not. I mean, I'm sorry, I wanted to make sure I was going to go because I did not know that. I did not think they were going to come back around again for a very long time because it's hard to the tour in this market. But, you know, had a great time with Jackson Biff, Bifford. You know, it is like kicking ass every single fucking night. 73 years old, up there. Voice is fucking awesome. Can't complain about that one bit. He's an original member, really left in Saxon, and then with Uriah Heap, the guitarist, um, Mr. Box. Let me get his fucking name again, because I even fucking forgot. They fucking laugh at my fucking ass off. You guys are going to think I'm fucking nuts. Mick Box. I was going to call him Michael Box, but it is Mick Box. And he's like 76 years old, and um, he's like the only original member left in, um, Uriah Heap, and it's been like that for a while now. So, friends, what are your thoughts on the um, Saxon Uriah Heap show? Mr. Morrison is going to honestly say that Saxon stole the show. That was the band Mr. Morrison and Janaki were going to see. Nothing against Uriah Heap, it's just not my thing. So, there you go, friends. I'm rambling. I do apologize. Leave your comments here. Shame, shame, shame.